ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at them. These six SNJ trainers, and they are the Geico Sky Typers. Let's take a look at their Delta formation. Stand by for the smoke. Smoke on right now. As the aircraft, the Geico Sky Typers perform for you today, I'd like to introduce the pilots to, uh, to you right now. Leading the flight is the boss and flight leader, Larry Arkin, with Steve Kapoor in the back seat. The right wing is Ken Johansson. The left wing is Rob Steele. The slot position is Bob Johansson. The executive officer and lead solo is Steve Salmers, and the wing solo is Tom Daly. Nine-cylinder radial engine, the Pratt and Whitney R1340. Notice the precision of the pilots as they continuously fly to fight to their position. Compared to only one foot, wingtip to wingtip. They make it look so easy, even a caveman can do it. But wait, the flight is releasing two members to investigate a bogey, an unidentified threat that may be a, a turned into a bandit. Watch as the solos cross in front of each other, just feet apart as they clear the area behind them. After they've identified the threat as a bandit or hostile aircraft, the Solars are now in position to demonstrate their next maneuver. Tries to outturn his opponent to gain the advantage. Diving for energy, the Solos will be descending in a head-to-head -head engagement at a closure rate of 320 miles per hour. Close a beam, the Solos will pitch up and roll into each other, passing canopy to canopy, just 50 feet apart. As the solo is clear, let's watch for the rest of the formation to the front and to the left of Fly a pattern that looks like a figure eight if viewed from above. It's required for all primary or private pilot candidates. It's usually flown with one airplane, not four. The pilots climb and slow down while turning, then descend and accelerate, repeating the sequence within very specific guidelines as far as altitude and airspeed are concerned. But don't be fooled. Even though it looks easy, the pilots are working hard to keep this formation pretty while they strive for symmetry. Flying formation is a big challenge, ladies and gentlemen, because the lead has to be at the right altitude, airspeed, and attitude to complete each maneuver. And all of the other air uh, pilots in the formation have no reference to the ground, only to a spot on the lead aircraft. These aircraft are called forward air controllers, or FACs. Watch from behind and overhead as two FACs, forward air controllers, call sign Gecko 1 and 2 are, continue, are arriving over a target area. The FACs are part of an operation called Close Air Support, or CAS. As its name implies, these aircraft fly close to the ground and pass for one pass before going home. The flight will enter from an echelon, or the all-to-one side formation. This formation is a very famous one, and any of you who stayed up to watch World War II movies, you've seen these aircraft rolling in on an a target or enemy aircraft from an echelon position. Today, the military uses this formation to line up for a break to landing maneuver, either over an airport or over a ship. When caveman flight has received all their instructions, the facts will smoke or mark the target, then clear the area for the fighters. Once clear, the order for release is given. Cleared in hot, and caveman flight will roll in for a very unique high angle strafe. This spiral attack is used to confuse the enemy on, on the ground and delight all of us in the audience. Solos are clearing. Caveman flight directly ahead. Watch as Larry Arkin, Ken Johansson, Rob Steele, and Bob Johansson in that echelon formation prepare to turn smoke in, smoke on, and dive in on the target. Smoke on now. Watch for the rake. As caveman flight departs, they will rejoin into a defensive formation. Watch the target area again as 
Two aircraft are dispatched to assess the damage. Battle Damage Assessment, or BDA. Noting that there are still some targets not destroyed, they forward the information pronto to order another attack. As the information is passed, the Geico Sky Typers will show you another of their capabilities. Using one or two aircraft, they can write simple messages or draw pictures, and the Sky are just entertained. Geico has been involved with the Sky Typers for a number of years, and they are a great complement to each other. And Geico keeps the Sky Typers busy typing messages, flying air shows, team building, and honoring the military, charities, and their respective Tom, let's watch to see what they draw on the sky for us today. Crossing across each other, smoke goes on. As you can tell, it looks like a heart the two solos are drawing. Keep your eyes forward now as the four-ship diamond formation, reformed into a vertical diamond, attempts to fly through the center of the heart or pierce the heart. Ladies and gentlemen, dedicated to all the men and women who serve in our military, how about a nice round of applause for the Geico Sky Typers Heart in the Sky. Larry, Ken, Rob, and Bob now peel off. And they will now reform into a trail position. Now, if you look straight ahead once again, you'll see the Solos approaching for a low-altitude pop-up bomb run. Oh, and that's not all. Different climb angles and attack directions help confuse the gunners on the ground. This is the Solos bomb run. Watch for the pop-up. And watch them roll in on the target. After finishing off the target, let's follow the solos as they exit to rejoin. Smoke on now! Ladies and gentlemen, the Geico Sky Typers Fan Pass! magnificent World War II icons indelibly in your minds and cameras. These aircraft are operated most of the year right here in the New York metro area and are based at Farmingdale Airport, uh, Republic Airport at Farmingdale. The men responsible for keeping these vintage aircraft in such fine shape. Thousands of these aircraft were built out of the United States Army Air Force. During the early era of the jet age, it was very difficult for those jets to spot targets on the ground. So T-6s were known as T-6Gs and flew mosquito missions. There's Larry Arkin, right wing, Ken Johansson, left wing, Rob Steele, slot pilot, Bob Johansson. Number five lead solo, Steve Salmers, an opposing solo, Tom Daly. And they'll be headed on home. Now we're going to be uh, right on time for Julie Clark here in just a second. We're uh, right on time to get her on. So as the Geico Sky Typers uh, depart the area, we'll be staying here with us. And uh, I just want to thank again Paul Richards, Joe Sada, and uh, 
Frankie C. working out here with me as our uh, on-site producer from WHLI Radio and Alyssa Marty and all the other folks there, Mike and Engineering and uh, all the guys that make this work. So for the third year in a row, we've been able to uh, been able to broadcast the entire Beth Page Federal Credit Union Air Show on the radio and on the internet. So we'd like to hi say hi to all our friends who are listening around the country and around the world on the World Wide Web on WHLI.com. Our entire Long Island radio group, including WHLI AM 1100, KJOY Long Island 983 and 961, V103, 94.3 WMJC, WRCN, and URLI.com. There go the guy Coast Sky Typers. Heading on back to Farmingdale's Republic Airport. Let's give the Geico Sky Typers a great round of applause.